If you've been struggling with your stainless steel TIG welding, in this video we're going to demonstrate techniques to help improve your confidence and your welding skills. For this joint we are using 95 amps and we're welding on 3mm 316 stainless steel. So let's get into it. We're using a 2.4mm foriated tungsten and it's crucial to keep it sharp throughout the world. Because I prefer a super pointy tip, it allows me to focus the heat precisely into the joint and direct the arc into both plates. This will give us proper fusion and penetration. If the tungsten wasn't sharp, we'd be heating a much larger surface area and losing arc focus, which in turn will result in wider and untidy beads. This will also spread the heat too much, which will make it harder to keep a consistent and accurate weld pool. So make sure your tungsten is constantly sharp, and if you do dip it, always stop. Don't just pretend that you didn't see it and turn a blind eye like some welders do. So what we can see here is the 45 degree torch angle which we're pointing into the two plates. We have to maintain that consistent throughout and on this particular run we're walking the cup down the joint. This is going to give us more stability and help maintain a consistent arc length throughout allowing us to keep our focus on the tungsten positioning and hold that 45 degree angle. It is also crucial to feed the filler wire at regular intervals ensuring the same amount of material goes into the weld pool each time. Consistent wire feeding is key to achieving an even ripple formation because even if your torch speed is spot on, irregular feeding can throw off your weld profile. So key takeaways. When welding stainless steel, remember that unlike mild steel, stainless retains its heat for much longer. This can make it more challenging to weld as excessive heat buildup can lead to warping, distortion or even oxidisation which is the grey colour you see on some welds. Managing heat input and controlling travel speed are crucial for maintaining clean and strong welds. As we come to the end of this video, if you're looking to stretch your skills further, you should definitely check out our next video on screen now where we take a look at the vertical T fillet breaking down technique, heat control and how to get solid fusion in the vertical position using multi-runs. Click on that link and let's keep welding.